Microsoft Exchange 2010, I'm going to show you how to create a send connector so your Microsoft Exchange server knows where to send messages. Does it get relayed off another server or does it go directly out to the internet? So first thing you want to do is open up Exchange Management Console, Organization Configuration, Hub Transport, and then you have your Send Connectors tab. Right click, choose New Send Connector, and we'll just call this one Outbound. Now you have several choices here. You can create a custom one, which is what we're going to do, or choose an internal uh, send connector which will relay off of an internal server. Choose an internet which would relay off of the uh, an internet server just go directly out. Or you could choose a partner server which would be a, another server out there that is uh, a partner to this particular server. It's in the same type of organization. So we're going to choose custom next. And we're going to specify the addresses to which this connector will route email. So we want this to be outbound for all connectors. So we'll just hit the star. And we don't need to click subdomains because uh, this is going to cover everything. You see the cost is 1, so that means that it is going to go out without any additional relays or anything like that. It's going to go directly out. And then we choose Next. And at this point, we can choose to use DNS for routing email. So that way, it will automatically use the DNS of the server that's in our network card properties or we can have it relay through a specific smart host. So if we do the smart host, we have to click Add, and we have to either type in the address or put in the fully qualified domain name of that relay. So we'll go ahead and use DNS. We'll choose Next. And we'll choose this particular server. So, uh, but if we had additional servers, we could add them at this point as well. And we'll choose Next again, and then New. After creating the send connector, if you want to have specific domains go out to a different location other than just directly out to the internet, then you can create another new send connector. And we'll just choose outbound to test domain. Leave it at custom, choose next. Specify the addresses. We're going to make it test.com. So if anybody is an email is their name at test.com, then it will use this connector. Next, and instead of going out to uh, through the DNS, we want this to go to a specific location. So we'll go ahead and just put in a fake address here. Click OK. Next. Next. And new. So all outbound email will go through this outbound rule with the exception of any email going to test.com.